The final of Junior Eurovision 2016 has just taken place. We are inside the Mediterranean Conference Center in the press room for the very last time. We're gonna go around and review the top three. Are you ready? Let's do this! You guys, I've got to say, the right act won. In our jury final review, we predicted that Georgia would come out on top, and she did. She was flawless vocally. She mixed power and frailty. This is a great step forward in Junior Eurovision, a classy act that didn't win because it was poppy. It won because it created a mood, a feeling, an atmosphere. Well done to Blisi. Yes, yes. I mean... Well, very well deserved. I mean, she just radiated. I and mean, it was almost like she filled the arena with so much sunlight. And there's such a joy to her and simplicity. And she's got that childlike quality. No, this was really good judging. People in the arena were just quiet, listening to her, taking it all in, clapping at the end, clapping during the Mid performance, song. clapping during the performance. This is totally deserved. I'm so excited to go next year to Georgia. And forgive me if I seem rude, but all y'all clicking on the site, it has exploded, and technical support would happen to get in touch while we're doing this <laughs> video, so that's why I'm multitasking as we speak. Yes, Armenia, second place. We've been saying for weeks, for months, that they would do very well with the kids' jury, and they did, coming out on top and almost beating Georgia. This was exciting, effervescent. And you've got to think, if it had a better draw, instead of performing second, mm. performing towards the end, would it have done better? I mean, Miriam got to close the show. It's all theoretical. It doesn't matter. It was a great act. This is a song I'm going to download and dance to. They've got attitude and sass. I love the Beyonce showdown. Armenia consistently delivers. And while they didn't win, and while Georgia has won three times, you have to say Armenia is definitely one of the strongest countries because they consistently place high. Second year, second place in a row. Well done. Yeah, Armenia is an interesting one because, of course, when we attended both jury finals, um, it got the loudest applause. And, and Georgia, of course. Mm -hmm. So... In some ways, it was kind of they were expected to do well, and yes, they delivered. And as you rightly predicted, the children would really respond to our meaning. I believe the children are the voters, <laughs> teach them well and let, let them lead the way. These girls were just banging, there, were, there was no other act that got the crowd cheering like, yeah. and yeah. dancing on their seats. This was probably the, the most kid friendly and high song of, of, of the show. And they really deserved to win the kids' jury. It was, it was really good. It was really good. It and was of course, we move on to your favorite. Italy. <laughs> Little Fiamma. We've been saying even before this contest, before rehearsals, that she had a chance of winning. And she did very, very well indeed. The voice was on point. She's sweet. She's tender. The song is catchy. It's Christmassy. I mean, I'm not surprised this did well. I thought, you know, it might have come a bit closer. But I guess at the top, you had a contrast between ballad and fun and then back to ballad. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you, you know, and I agree. And you've consistently supported Italy. And it's nice to see that actually they did pick up a trophy tonight. And oh my God, you know, when I actually interviewed her, she cried during the interview. She was so emotional. And, you know, when she sings about her mother, I actually believe it. She is that sort of endearing, sweet natured little girl that just has so much love within her. It's so touching. It was really fantastic. I was recording Devon's, Devon's interview, and she really cared. Yeah. Being here for one week, this was the experience of her life. Yeah. She did amazingly. She, she, she really did. The camera work was fantastic. She captivated the, everyone into the performance. Those three minutes were her three minutes. Yeah, her she, simplicity really won us over, yes. didn't it? Yes. She owned that like Gucci owned style. It was amazing. Now look, two final points. Macedonia, a lot of pre-contest hype. All week we've been saying it's slipping down. It just didn't look good on camera. The choreography didn't seem crisp. I don't think, this did quite poorly with the children. A lot of people thought yeah. children. I just, I don't believe that the child jury, I never believed that they would vote for this and they didn't. Yeah, 12th um, really, yeah. So I, I'm worried that Macedonia won't be coming back to the contest. And the other country I'm worried about is the Netherlands. There's been talk that you know they needed to do well to stay in the contest. And they did get 12 points from a country. They did very well with the adult jury coming out near the top. But in the televote, I don't know what happened. I don't know why the Netherlands did so poorly with the kids' jury. And the running order was really in their favor. But William, what I really am so curious to ask you and Bernardo is, 
Russia, my favorite. What happened? They came fourth. It's not bad. It's not, it's bad. not bad. But they were clear. They topped our poll. Yeah. They were clearly our favorites. They did the great with the jury. kids' jury here. Yeah, but just what happened? I think adult juries. Well, perhaps they hold biases that kid yeah, juries I think, don't. I think it got lost. I think it really got lost. Jedward gave gave 12 Russia points. twelve points, yeah. so the expert panel recognized their presence their presence in the contest. But I think for the kids' jury and for the juries in the countries, the professional juries in the countries, it just got a, a bit lost. And guys, they are literally dismantling the set. They you are. might hear the rumbling, so we have to go, or some wires and bars are going to fall on our head. Can we quickly mention the bottom three? Israel, Israel Cyprus, Cyprus, Serbia. Yeah. Listen, I think with Cyprus, I love him. I love his act. I think it needed more singing, a song contest, if we're being you know, completely honest. He was fantastic, though. What he did, he did great. He yeah. loved the choreography. Yeah. Killed it. But there needed to be more singing. Israel, I don't know. I, I really liked Israel. Maybe the stage mm -hmm. just looked empty. I don't know. They turned out. Serbia Certainly coming last. Certainly the stage looked empty for yeah. Serbia. I mean, just her on a hoverboard when you've got Belarus with five of yeah. them. And, and, yeah. so, and sometimes for Serbia, the camera could not wasn't able to follow her. Yeah. She was like running around on stage and the camera couldn't follow her. It, it it's was like sending a girl down the runway without her heels. She was all alone on this big stage. <laughs> Serbia needed to equip her better. She has the talent. She had the song. She just didn't have the she staging. Had the voice. And we are being, yes, we need to go. We're coming. That's what we think. What do you think of the Junior Eurovision 2016 winner? You can let us know here on Weebly Blogs. We'd love to read your comments, so please scribble lots of them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for following us throughout Junior Eurovision. We roll on to Eurovision next, so yeah! stay tuned, honey. See you later. Bye!